What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video on my channel. So recently I've had a fair few of you asking me to show you exactly how a professional footballer should eat in the lead up to a game. And I thought, we're playing Bournemouth at home tomorrow. When is there gonna be a better opportunity than this to record all of my meals for you guys and show you exactly how you can optimize your performance levels through nutrition. In this video, I'll be showing you the four meals that I have the day before a game. That'll be starting with breakfast, which I'll have in about 10 minutes or so, just before I get into training. I'll then be showing you my three meals on the day of the game, and that will include my post-match recovery meal. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video, because I'm gonna be showing you things that you must do and you must not do if you wanna optimize your performance levels come game day. And if there's one thing that I've learned over the years, it's that no matter what you do, you cannot out-train a bad diet. You, you just can't. It doesn't matter how hard you train, if you're poorly fueled, you're not gonna optimize performance levels. I'm gonna get into my breakfast now and I'm gonna show you exactly what I have to start my day off. All right, so I start most of my training days with a, a shake which is high in protein and also contains a bit of fruit. Depending on what day of the week it is, will determine whether I have a simple carbohydrate which is easily broken down and higher in glycemic index or lower in glycemic index. Obviously this granola is high in glycemic index. We're getting closer to kickoff time now so we want to really start loading up with the carbohydrates that are higher in glycemic index because we need energy quickly. I have around 25 grams of protein here. And then on top of that, it's just flax seeds, sunflower, pumpkin, and chia seeds. Basically, really high in antioxidants. Good source of omega-3. Well, I don't have dairy. I put almond milk in this. This is probably one of the better quality almond milks that you will be able to find. <laughs> Daily turmeric shots. I've actually just bought the ones that have beetroot in as well. Um, beetroot is brilliant for improving endurance, helping with stamina. A shot of apple cider vinegar too. Really, really good for digestion. Um, so I'll have a shot of that every single morning. Also has loads and loads of other benefits. On top of that, I'll have a green tea every morning. Uh, really good for athletic performance. The high antioxidant content really helps with endurance and also um, gives us a metabolism boost. Not only that, it's also got a hit of caffeine in to help with alertness in the morning, just give you that little wake up that you might need. So supplement wise, I'll also have black seed oil, another really, really high strength anti-inflammatory, really high in omega-3, quite expensive, but it's really, really good. I'll have a magnesium tablet in the morning. That will just help with any muscular cramping tomorrow. So that is my breakfast. Along with my breakfast, I'll also look to drink this whole bottle of water before I get to training. Um, this is 1.5 litres. Today, I'll probably drink anywhere between five and five and a half litres. Um, however, you don't want to drink too much water as you'll end up flushing all the salts out of your system unless you have electrolyte tablets to supplement it with. Um, these are the best ones on the market. These are from Sucker Supplement. I've been using them for a long time now and they also really help with replacing any electrolytes that are lost throughout sweating, through training this morning. They also help with muscular cramping as well. So I couldn't go without them. If you are someone who struggles with muscular endurance or you get twinges of a cramp in a game, get yourself on them electrolyte tablets and um, get yourself on the donut water that I've got in my nutrition Q&A video because they, they've absolutely worked wonders for me over the last three or four years. Up until that point in games, I'd get to 65, 70 minutes and think, why am I, why are my calves cramping up here? Why am, I, why am my quads cramping up? I'm doing everything right and I couldn't get to the bottom of it. So get yourselves in them and, and you'll really see the benefits. I'm gonna get changed for training now, head to the grounds, train, and then I'll be back here for lunch.
All right, so training done this morning. I'm gonna have lunch at home today and I'll get inside and I'll show you guys exactly what I like to eat for lunch time today before a game. Still got my bottle of water on me. I'm pretty much attached to this thing when it comes to um, the lead up to a game. The key with hydration is just to drink small amounts consistently and that way you'll stay on top of things. So let's get inside now and I'll, uh, I'll whip up a quick lunch. All right, so lunch, nothing too complicated. I'm just gonna have sea bass, have a bit of rice and some spinach alongside it. Two fresh sea bass bits here from Waitrose. I'm gonna go for white rice, higher in glycemic index. We'll be able to break down the carbohydrates quickly for tomorrow's game. When it comes to the veg, you don't wanna have anything too bulky. So avoiding broccoli, cauliflowers, um, cabbages. I like to have sea bass for my lunch because um, it's a leaner meat and you don't wanna have anything too fatty the day before a game the fat will slow down the rate at which our carbohydrates are used for energy. I opt for sea bass, also high in magnesium, potassium, and because it's obviously a fish, it gives me that added salt, which is also really good uh, for hydration. It's good to have a fibrous veg with this lunchtime meal too, because it will help with digestion from now until the game tomorrow. And the last thing you want to do is feel constipated and heavy going into the game, so. All right, so. I'm gonna stick the sea bass in the oven. Obviously I prefer to fry it, but um, we don't want any extra fat, so I'll put that in the oven. Just put it on a non-stick foil, and it's normally fine. Leave that in the oven for around 12 minutes. I'll boil the rice, and I'll just put the spinach in the microwave. Um, for a short period of time, you don't want to overcook the spinach, you don't want to kill all the nutrients. If you don't like sea bass or fish, just go for a leaner meat, so chickens, turkeys, that's all fine as well. You haven't got to um, have sea bass. Some, some lunch times I will mix it up and have chicken or, or turkey. Depends what the chef makes at the ground, but he keeps it pretty lean for us, which is good. This rice only takes 10 minutes, so I'll put this in now. while this is cooking, I've got two great little tips for you here. With any meals that you have, add a little bit of Himalayan crystal salt, really, really good for hydration. Um, will help your body absorb the water that you do drink. And also, beetroot juice. It's crazy the effect that this actually has. You play a game and you feel like you can run all day, it's mental. So I'll have this now with this meal, a shot of this, this is 100% beet reduced, and I'll have another shot tonight with my, with my evening meal. Never get used to that taste, by the way. It's disgusting. All right, so this is my lunch. Add a little bit of uh, Himalayan rocks onto it. And don't be too afraid to go big with your meals because you really need to try and increase your calorie intake today. So you have loads of energy for tomorrow. This is another great little tip, hot sauce. Um, without getting into the science behind it, basically when your muscles get fatigued and soreness starts to happen, it actually comes from your nerves and this helps calm down your nerves. So I have a little bit of this every meal and also it just helps it taste nicer because it's not too boring and plain. I won't make you guys sit here and watch me munching this food. So I'm gonna eat this now, jump on my normal takes for a bit of recovery. And then my next meal will be around four, half four time. So I'll see you then. All right, so I'll do this for around 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Uh, sometimes a little bit longer the day before a game. While I'm doing this, it gives me an opportunity to watch some of the opposition's clips on Y Scout, so I'm just watching the Bournemouth strikers um, that we're likely to face tomorrow. And I'll just watch like their best jewels and whatnot. It's really good to be fair, I'll do this before every game. Okay, so for my third meal, it's not really a meal, it's more of a snack. Bagels with jam, same principles apply high in glycemic index. Unfortunately, as much as I love it, can't have any butter on the bagel. Um, we don't want the fat, we'll slow down the rate at which the carbs are absorbed. 
and I'm gonna have that with a protein shake. Here's the protein that I use, it's from Soccer Supplement, a whey isolate. Don't go for concentrate, this is a little bit more expensive, but it's basically undergoes a bit more processing and it results in a higher quality protein. <laughs> Let's get my protein shake sorted. I'll use almond milk again. A bit extra calories, but we don't mind it because it's day four again. Remember as well, with the foods that you do buy, always opt for organic if you can. Less preservatives, more nutrients, so it's always a better choice. <laughs> So, dinner time. Chicken, potatoes, and veg tonight. It's good to mix up the carbohydrates, so I've got potatoes in the oven now. It's better to bake your potatoes too, because you're able to keep more of the micronutrients inside them as opposed to boiling them or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna cook the chicken now in a tomato -y sauce. Um, I'm gonna season it with chili and also sweet smoked paprika, and I'm gonna cover it all in a tomato puree. So, the tomato, really, really good antioxidant, and so is the paprika, actually. That's why I use it, as well as it being good for flavor. So, I won't be using any oil. It will cook well enough in the tomato sauce. So, let me whip this up. the last meal that I have. It's now 7 p.m. I won't eat again tonight, but you can do if you do get hungry. I know a lot of players um, will have a sort of supper before they go to bed, and that should be similar to the meal that I had at four o'clock today. Protein and carbs, um, something like a bagel with, with a protein shake, like I had. The reason I stopped eating this time is just because the data that my whoop band has collected to me over the last two years has said to me that the later on into the evening that I do eat, the more of a detrimental effect it has on my recovery. I like to stop eating at 7 p.m. It just gives my digestive system a break and I find myself being in the green zone on whoop come morning time. So yeah, this is my last meal. And for dessert, another shot of this. So after dinner, I now have 250 milliliters of donut water. You can actually see on the side because there's a little useful scale that tells you how much you've drank. It's good to have this at night as well because the magnesium in it helps you sleep. I won't be getting cramped tomorrow and I'll be having a great night's sleep. I won't drink anything else after this either. Uh, it's now half seven just because I wanna make sure that I sleep the whole way through tonight and I don't wanna be up going to the bathroom at 3 a.m. That's me for today. Back in the morning for my breakfast of, on the game day. I'll show you what I have. Morning guys, so it's day of the game. It's half eight now, straight on with the hydration. I'll get two or three electrolyte tablets and put these in. I have this drunk before kickoff today. Normally aim to eat around quarter to nine. I think that's the optimal time. And then I'll have my pre-match meal around quarter to 12. So three hours on from my breakfast. Start the day the same as always. 
Turmeric shot. Get that down me. Show you after my breakfast. All right, so this is my breakfast. I'm gonna have organic granola, really high in glycemic index, with blueberries and raspberries. They are really good for performance, help with brain function, so hopefully I'll be more alert today. Have a banana in there as well, obviously with some almond milk. And I'm gonna have a bagel. Well, I only have half a bagel, actually. Um, we don't want to overload on the carbohydrates. Now I can have some butter on there because we want to hit a fat this morning. And also some strawberry jam for some more high glycemic index carbohydrates. And then I'm going to have my protein from Soccer Supplement. Really good quality. Don't want anything too heavy because we don't want it to be hard to digest before the game. That is my breakfast. <laughs> yesterday and fueled my body properly woke up today checked my whoop back in the green which means i'm primed to take on strain so i've given myself the best chance in having a good performance today which is um which is really good i'm gonna enjoy my breakfast now do a little bit of foam rolling a little bit of stretching have a shower and then i'll have my pre-match meal <music> Okay, so pre-match meal. This will be the last time I eat before today's game. And it's a really simple one. Sea bass and rice. We won't have any veg, we won't have fruit, we won't have fat, just because they'll slow down the rate at which the carbohydrates are absorbed now. A common mistake I do see in a lot of footballers pre-match meals is that they'll have things like porridges, they'll have breads, brown pastas, them sorts of carbohydrates are not high enough in glycemic index and you won't feel as energetic going into the game. You don't have to have sea bass, just make sure you opt for a lean meat too. Things like halibut, cod, um, sometimes I have chicken, turkey, but obviously no red meat, very bad for you. Um, high in fat and also absorbs water. <music> meal before the game sea bass and rice get a bit of salt on here i'll also have a shot of apple cider vinegar with this meal just help with the digestion and also it's also a good time with your pre-match meal to start loading up on the electrolytes so i'll have another 250 ml of the donut water and also one last shot of the disgusting stuff the beetroot juice Works wonders though, so get the hot sauce on the sea bass, prevent any muscle cramping as well. That's my meal, so I'll catch you guys after the game, show you what the best foods to eat for recovery. I'll see you then. Massive 1 0 win from the boys against Bournemouth. It's 6 30 now, one and a half hours since the end of the game, and this is the time that we want to stay disciplined to give ourselves the best chance in recovery for training Monday morning. So, this meal, the post match meal, we're going to try and include all the macronutrients so protein, fiber, carbohydrates, fats, just to give ourselves the best chance in recovery. I like to have a big stir fry after my games, and it will have in it two organic salmon fillets. We'll have a vegetable stir fry mix, carrots, edamame beans, peppers, onions, really high in antioxidants, help speed up the recovery process and control the inflammation. And for my carbohydrates, some white rice noodles.
because it's really rich in omega-3 fatty acids. High in protein, two birds, one stone with that, and have that frying for about five minutes in the, in the olive oil before I chuck in the white rice noodles and my veg. It's also really important to make sure you rehydrate after a game. You need to replace all the fluids you've lost. 90 minutes is a long time to be sweating for, so another massive part of recovery. All right, guys, so this is my post-match meal. Really quick and easy. You don't want to be standing around in the kitchen for 45 minutes to an hour after a game whipping up some fancy meal. This has got everything you need. High in protein, high carbs, high veg. Really, really going to help with recovery. On top of that, I'm also going to have another turmeric shot. Just some more added anti-inflammatories. Especially after a game, it's really good to try and get it down as uh, quickly as possible and um, give yourself the best chance in feeling fresh and ready to go again Monday morning. Continue the rehydration. And that's me guys. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Get down in my comments below and tell me what other videos you want to see in the future. So I'll see you guys in the next video.